What's up everybody, this is Always back with another video. Today I'm starting a new series on JavaFX. So this is the first video of this series. In this series, basically I'll be teaching you how to make GUI applications using JavaFX. So I'm going to give you an introduction of JavaFX in this video. So what is JavaFX? JavaFX is a library used to build rich internet applications or desktop applications, even the mobile application. The application written using this library can run constantly across a multiple platform. The application developed using JavaFX can also run on various devices such as desktop computer, Mac, mobile phone, Linux, TV, tablets. JavaFX provides a rich set of graphics and media APIs and it leverages the modern graphical processing unit through hardware accelerated graphics. JavaFX also provides interfaces which developers can combine graphics, animations and UI controls. To develop client-side applications with rich features, the program is used to de depend on various libraries to add features such as media, UI controls, web 2D and 3D and much more. JavaFX includes all these features in a single library. In addition to these, the developer can also access the existing features of Java libraries such as Swing. So there's a question, what can I build with JavaFX? With JavaFX, you can build many type of applications. Typically, there are a network of web applications that are deployed across a multiple platform and display information in a high performance modern user interface that features audio, video, graphics, and animation. So, we have features in Java. So, JavaFX is a library written in Java and is available for languages that can be executed on JVM. JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine, which include Java, Groovy, and JRuby. These JavaFX applications are also platform independent. We have FXML. So JavaFX features a language known as FXML, which is a HTML-like declarative markup language. The sole purpose of this language is to define a user interface. We have a scene builder. JavaFX provides an application named Scene Builder. On integrating this application in IDEs such as Eclipse or NetBeans or IntelliJ IDEA, the user can access a drag and drop design interface which is used to develop FXML application. So we have built-in UI controls. JavaFX library caters UI controls using which we can develop a full featured application. Rich set of APIs. So Java library provides a rich set of APIs to develop GUI application. GUI stands for graphical user interface. So we can make 2D and 3D graphics. The set of APIs also include capability of Java platform. Therefore, using this API, you can access the features of Java language such as generics, annotation, multi-threading, and lambda expression, which was introduced in Java 8. The traditional Java collection library was enhanced and the concept like list and maps were in included in it. Using these, users can observe the changes in the data model. Okay, so we have CSS as well. So JavaFX provides a CSS-like styling. By using this, you can improve your design of your application with a simple knowledge of CSS. CSS stands for Cascade Style Shading, which is a most commonly used to enhance your look and design of your HTML pages or web pages. So we have Canvas and Printing API. JavaFX provides Canvas and immediate mode style of rendering API. Within the package of JavaFX.scene.canvas, it holds a set of classes for Canvas using which can be drawn directly within the area of JavaFX scene. Graphics Pipeline So JavaFX supports a graphic based on hardware accelerated graphics pipeline known as Prism. We'll talk about Prism in the later videos. Next video is going to be about a JavaFX architecture. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.